So there are some advantages to having topologically symmetrical models. I have one here with some asymmetry built into it. You can see around the mouth there's some, some details here which are asymmetrical. And if I zoom out and press Shift F we can go into polyframe mode and press Shift D to go down the subdivision levels until we get down to the base. So you can see now that this model is symmetrical at a low level or was symmetrical before I started sculpting and I started introducing symmetry as I was sculpting away and going up the subdivision levels. So at the, by the time we get to subdivision level 6 there's quite a lot of asymmetry in this. But let's say for example I had taken a, I had made a change on one side of this model. I was maybe testing out some expressions or um, I had made a mistake in the model or, or you know, anything that could have happened while I was sculpting on one side maybe the other side I introduced some errors or some stuff that I'd like to change. So if I want to fix that, I can't use the modify topology mirror and weld. It's going to tell me that it can't be applied because we've got multiple subdivisions. Mirror and weld would actually change the geometry and because we have subdivisions, we can't actually change that geometry. We can only modify its position in 3D space. So what's our option? So this is where Smart Resim under the deformation palette comes in. You'll see this button here with the X axis turned on. Because we're looking at the front view, this should work left to right. It doesn't matter which side we work on. But the way it works is that we protect the area that we'd like and we're basically telling ZBrush this side is good and I want to, you to transfer those details over to the other side. Now, I have some details down here which are asymmetrical details which I'd also like to protect. I don't want to lose those when I'm fixing the eye. So what we can do is just control and drag and select those as well to protect those also from any changes. Now when we hit Smart Resim, it's going to take everything over here and say, okay, I'm going to look at these verts here and we go down to the lowest subdivision level just to see what we're talking about. I'm going to look at these verts here. I'm going to find symmetry across everything else. There are enough points here to actually let ZBrush know where the symmetry is. So when it gets to this part up here, it can find the corresponding one and fix it. So now when we hit Smart Resim, you can see it's almost instant. If I go up one subdivision level, up to subdivision level two, and I hit Smart Resim again, and then press D, Smart Resim again, D, Smart Resim again, D, constantly going up the subdivision levels, Smart Resim, and last time. So that was a good 30 seconds. And uh, if I get rid of my mask now, we can see that our eye has been fixed, but our lips have re retained their asymmetry in this. So this is the way to do it. Always go down to the lowest subdivision level and hit Smart Resim and work your way up the subdivision levels, hitting Smart Resim every time. You can do this from the top if you just did this. Select the, the side that you'd like to protect. Select the mouth which you'd like to protect and then hit Smart Resim like this at the top subdivision level. So I sped that up so you don't have to grow old watching this, but basically that took about double the time that the other one did. So don't start from subdivision, your highest subdivision level, go down to your lowest and hit Smart Resim and go up one level every time hitting Smart Resim. It's a much faster way of getting your symmetry. One thing that this is not is if I go down to the lowest subdivision level and maybe I'll select an area here. If I take everything here and I move it off kilter and I now want to fix this and I say oh, well Smart Resim should work on this because it has the same amount of polygons on one side as it does the other, that's not going to work. It needs to find enough corresponding matches to be able to then tally up or well, what's the difference, where, like, where is it wrong. So if it doesn't find enough um, verts that are exact matches already, it's not going to be able to build a map. So we can try this and hit Smart Resim and you can see zero symmetry points found because it didn't actually get a map stored. Whereas when it's just a part of the model, all of these things are symmetrical. So that's enough for it to tell it, okay, well, I get where the symmetry is. So there, therefore it's going to be easy for me to fix this. So now we could select all of this stuff and hit Smart Resim and it's going to fix that very quickly. So you do need to have a lot of symmetry still in your model at the, at the outset. So yeah, I hope this tip helps and 
Let me know if there's anything you'd like to cover in future tutorials. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment below if you have any other suggestions. Cheers. Bye.